YouTube. We are back again today for another episode of Bauer Family Learns. And today I'm here with my seven-year-old son, Sean. What up? And I'm very, very excited because we are about to go on a huge adventure to the seventh continent. Explore, survive. You are the hero. And I am super excited. Let's get into the story and you'll quickly learn how to play because it's a very simple game, Sean. And since it's cooperative, I can help you a lot. So, <clears throat> 1907. A renowned explorer, you have just come back from the first expedition on the seventh continent. A mysterious land that was recently discovered off the coast of Antarctica. And probably the very last terra incognita in the world. You're recovering from your adventure when whilst reading the daily newspaper you realize that several other members of the expedition have disappeared suddenly for unknown reasons. Coincidentally, you've been lethargic for a few days, <sighs> feeling feverish and finding it difficult to get up from bed. A cold shiver runs up and down your spine. You have to face the facts. An evil is consuming you from within. At nightfall, you fall into a restless sleep without knowing that for you, this is only the beginning. Object of the game, you have been cursed. To win the game, we must lift the curse. Now, the curse that has been put on us is the voracious goddess. Since you return from that expedition, the vision of a strange, gloomy idol that seems to be calling you has been haunting your nights. The piercing cries of a few seagulls pull you out of a deep slumber. They sound so strange, as though, as though they were laughing. You try your best to understand, where on earth are you? How did you end up in this place? Your memories are clouded and you seem unable to remember. While sifting through your journal, you come across a handwritten sheet upon which something that looks like a route was drawn, along with several statues. As it so happens, one of these statues looks exactly like the idol from your restless dreams. So this is the picture. It's going to be a clue that's going to go in our satchel down here. Begin the adventure by putting card 10 into play. Each player places their figure onto it. And we are ready to rock and roll. Thick columns of yellowish smoke rise up from the cracks in the volcanic rock. To the east, the peaks of a rocky cliff look down, mocking the ocean below. So this, we've woken up, and this is where we are. Just, how do we get here? I don't know. Who are you? Who am I? Well, I am Ferdinand La Capelliera. And my special ability is I can discard one card with the keyword stealth. And the keywords will be down here. From your hand or your inventory in order to skip the consequence step of an action you are involved in. So when bad stuff happens, I can just kind of sneak away. I'm really good at that. If you do, all involved characters must immediately take that action again. So we sneak away, but we have to redo it. Also, if you move to a terrain card where there's an explorer or a fire figure, it's minus one of that, which I'll explain to you a little bit later. And my ability is when you get a red hand state, you may discard one card with the keyword aggressive in aggressiveness from your hand, your inventory in order to ignore the effect on the X icon. So you are a soldier. You're a former soldier, Dmitry Gorkov. And uh, yeah, so if you get bad stuff happening to you, you just get extra mad and aggressive. And that solves all your problems, which does in real life. So we've begun. I do want to say that we are going to be using my friend uh, Barry. He he helped work on this app, the Seventh Continent app, which we play some ambient music in the background. So now's the time. The game has started, and it's pretty much just a giant choose your own adventure. So a couple things to note right now is we are on a spot, and we have plenty of rock. So if any cards needed rock, this would be a great spot to go. Actions we could take. We can take this action right here, which let's see what it is, because they're all listed right here on there, is we could go see, investigate what's over here, or we could go explore this card over here, or explore this card over here. But, you know, things are going to happen when you explore those cards, right? What are you thinking? Wait, wait, wait. We have to decide who's going to go first. Do you want to go first? Yeah. All right. What are you thinking? Okay. Don't flip it over. So this is where I'm going to teach you. So this is the action right here. And this action means that it is a, um, it's not travel, but like uncover. Where is it? You see it over here? Well, that's the action you take to flip over the card. 
So in order to do it, we are going to have to discard zero cards and get zero stars. Because this is a, these are our cards right here. These are a, this is our life deck. You see they have cards stars on them. Yeah. So we're good. You can just flip it. And wait, wait. Now I decide. Do I want to come with you? And you, want, I, I'll come with you. You said no, no, no. I'll explore here. You want to explore it yourself? Uh, what are you thinking? You can come. All right, I'll come. I'll come. So right. flip it over. Oh, you have found a life jacket. You have laid hands on a life jacket in poor condition. So, you have found an item. Since you're the active player, it goes right down here. And you're going to take one of your three dice, because you can only have three items out in front of you. Uh, and you can put one on the four. So you can use this four times. So put a four out there. So, here's your choices. You can either use it... Uh, like this, and this will make it so you draw one less card, and slash or uh, have one less more star, or you can just banish it, which means it's removed from the game, but it lets you draw three less cards, which is really good. And you can do use this on these specific things, okay? Fighting. <coughs> but more importantly, you have explored here, and now we have uncovered card number zero zero seven. So let's see what we got over here. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Alright, so we draw the first one. And it goes right here. And, ooh, okay. So, these are other things we can do. It doesn't look like anything immediately happens. Now, here's the thing. If I wanted to go back over here, which, why, which is why we might have wanted to consider uh, spreading apart... It's going to cost us a card to move there because it's going to cost us a little bit of energy to do it. So, you see how the theme's coming across? You found a life jacket. Cool. What am I going to do over here? Hmm, what are some of the actions? I got I got a C thing? What can I see? I'm going to go observe something over here. Would you like okay. to come or are you going to chill? Yeah, I'm just going to chill. All right, well, I will go observe. And since it's, I draw zero cards and I need zero stars, so I got it. Yeah, you got it. And you listen to the music. It. See how it fits? Isn't that kind of cool? Alright, so card 11. What's going on over there? I think I see something. Like a oh. kangaroo. If there is a this card under the satchel journal card, you may now you may apply the following effect. Is it do we have one of those down here? It does not look like we have one of those down here. Right? Nothing looks let, let's let's check the symbology real quick. Uh. Luckily, they got a whole bunch of stuff here on the back. Do you see that purple symbol anywhere? Mm. Yes. You may add together the total, the number associated with the pictograph, the banner, and the number of the card you are to take. Okay. So, we don't have this, which means we don't do this. So, there's blue ones that you'll get from some items, but right now, we just get the regular ones. So, card number 11. A man is lying face down among the rocks. Approaching closer, you notice his clothes are torn and tattered, and his body is swollen and puffy. Parts of the body are mutilated, and the man's skin bulges with what looks like large eggs. Ew. Ew. So, uh, we found a dead body. So now it's, uh, it's we don't take turns in this game, um, so we just decide what to actually do next. I would like to investigate this. Uh. You cool with that? Or do you want to take your action? I'm going to take my action. I'm going to go over there. Well, Sean, I do want to say I don't like that action, so I'm going to veto that. Why? Because I want us to save our cards, and you would have to use a card in order to do that. What was the point of coming up here if we're not going to explore the stuff? Oh. So we have to be very careful of our cards. This is a very hard game, so I'm going to play it like I'd actually play it, and I'd say, you know what, Sean, I kind of want to, I, I kind of want us to stick together for right now. You're welcome. Because think about it thematically. If we were really here, would I want to walk away from you? Hey, I found a dead body over here. Cool, I'm, I'm heading over here to the other part. So what do you want to do? You want to, you want to come investigate this with me? You want to go see what's over here? You know what? Forget that. You do you. You do you. You go. go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So we have to draw one card. You want to go explore off that way? I don't support it, but we'll do it. So we don't have to get it zero stars. That's fine. So this card just goes right here in the discard pile, and you have succeeded. Now, I believe, so, so that was to walk, um, 
So that was your one action was to walk over here. So now it's my turn and I'm gonna investigate this. So I'm gonna draw one card. And then I just draw 31 and return this. Return it so it actually goes back in the box. Yeah, good. I don't look at that. Oh, it's so gross. Well, one of us has to. Maybe there's maybe there's something important here. Like this music's creeping me out. Oh, so there's a couple different 31s. All right, I'll take this one. Oh my gosh, as you lean down to search the corpse, a disgusting creature jumps out of the water and lunges at you. It does not seem to like the idea of you staying near its eggs. Oh my goodness. So, let's take a look at all the different stuff on this card so we can figure out exactly what to do. Okay, so the first thing is, it has the red sword symbol around it, which I believe means if you're here, you have to fight with me. Let's see. Uh, an action that all involved characters and only them must take. So no one else can help me with this because you're not here. That's not good. But it's also got an hourglass on it. So what does the hourglass mean? Let's check that real quick. A temporary event that must be resolved immediately and then discarded. So this is happening right now. Nothing I can do. Let's fight. So in order to do this, I'm going to have to get six stars. Now I can draw two or more cards, but the question is how many cards do I want to draw? Now, you don't know much about the cards, but luckily they have this hidden little thing right here, which says if we need to get six stars, we have to draw at least three cards. That'll give us a 1% chance. If we draw four cards, it's a 4% chance. Five cards, an 11% chance. Six cards, a 22% chance. I think we should win this. I think I should draw 10 cards. 10? What do you think? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Now, here's the other thing about drawing cards, which is important to note, which is that win or lose, I'm going to get to keep one of the cards that I draw, and I can use it later on, kind of like how you could use this life jacket, which, man, I really wish you were here. Oh, no, you could have thrown your life jacket at him. Or, no, I think you wear, you'd wear it on your chest to, like, protect you. Uh, yeah, why would you roll life? I yeah. think that would just make him bigger because he would consume it and then grow a little bit bigger. All right, so we're going to do ten cards. You okay with that? So yeah. I draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. And now yes. I'm going to check. For the stars. That's a curse. That's bad. One and a half. But I have to put them together. Okay. This is promising. So we got two stars. Four stars. Five. Oh my gosh. We crushed it. Okay. Ten. St okay. Maybe ten cards was a lot. Maybe ten cards was a poor choice. Maybe I didn't read that. <laughs> that is so well. Oh, we just wasted a lot of cards on this. That's not good. But the good news is we have one. You defeat the creature. Uh, take one O2 card and a 32 card from the adventure deck if available. Banish this and take a 139 card. So we're going to do a lot of stuff here. But before we do that, it's important to remember that... Um, how, so this is how an action resolution works. So let's make sure we do everything spot on because we're going to be doing it a lot and I want you to understand it. So all involved characters may use their items, which we could have used a life jacket, but you weren't here, so we couldn't. Cost. Determine the cost of the action cards to draw. So I chose 10 cards. We chose 10 cards. Result. Reveal the cards during the cost step and count the successes. Total is greater than or equal, and we that was bigger than 6, which means we have earned the white part which is a success if we would have lost it would have been a failure after getting bidden repeatedly you run away so then i would take card 104 but since we succeeded we're going to do all the stuff on top the active player may choose one card from those that were revealed during the result step and add it to their hand or another involved character's hand so actually you know what should have happened since you did the move action i believe you would get this Yeah. So you actually have this item and it's this card and it's in your hand. And this lets you do something, which we'll talk about later. So which one of these do I want to pick? 
Uh, definitely not the curse. Mm, yeah, curse. Uh, I can't pick it. A raft looks really good. Yeah. Ooh, could use a raft. There's also a bow. A bow seems really good. A splint in case we get injured. Then there's other cards that do stuff too. Um, I'm gonna get the raft. Right? Well, we don't want to escape though, right? We want to. What do you think? We're after the we're after the bow. What do you think, Sean? Bow. Okay. I will keep this bow. Yeah, because the raft might be like <clears throat> leave us. Bow is to now, where the curse is really, really bad. Now this is important. All these cards go to the discard. <clears throat> but this is not a bow I have yet. I have to make the bow. I have to take an action to construct that bow. And you get to use it four times. Yes. So I'll put it right here. Well, I, I won't put the dice in there. Let's put it down here. All right. Now let's talk about the goodies. Take one. Zero, so I take zero, zero, two. What is zero two? Come on, come on. A lot of zero zero ones. Holy boy, there's a whole bunch of zero zero ones. Here we go. Take this zero zero two right here. And thirty two. So I take card thirty two as well. Thirty two. Banish this and take a one thirty nine card. So banish this means it's completely out of the game. And I take 139. So this has been pretty eventful. This has been a pretty eventful turn right here. Events are everywhere. Yay. 137, 138, 139. All right. Let's see what we got first. Let's take a look at this one. Two. I've got fish mollusk. Nice. So I got, food. Some, got a little bit of food out of it. Okay. I'll read that that photo does a little bit later. 32. I found a metal gear or wheel, a small metal gear wheel found on the body of a naval officer. Navy? He's from the Navy? So, um, this is actually going to go into our satchel, and later on, if we see a card with this symbol, we'll be able to use this. So we'll just throw this in here. This will come in handy later, maybe. And judging by... Oh, wait. Let's read the back, because it has something in the back, too. Now that the danger's past, you search the body, wasting no time. So I looked through the giant squid thing and found this metal gear, which you probably ate off of somebody. All right. Judging by the insignities... Oh, this guy was in the Navy. Uh, the insignia on his jacket. This man was once a French naval officer. Despite being worn and faded, you can still make out a name. FT-16 La Rochelle. Probably the ship to which the man was assigned. Unfortunately, there is nothing else worthwhile on him. So let me see. F T sixteen La Rochelle. I thought I think I saw something on there. Didn't we? Yeah, F T sixteen. So that might be that might be important later. I don't know. Okay, but it is now your turn. Okay. Or uh, my turn if we think that I should do something better. But I'm assuming you want to take your turn. Yeah. What's over here? So All right. Zero. Cards and zero stars. Yep. I got this. So, flip it over. What do you got? You have got sea urchins. The ground is covered with hundreds of little reddish creatures that look like sea urchins. You will have to tiptoe through the colony if you want to continue in this way. Each character getting involved in the following action may discard any number of cards with the keyword skill from their hand. Oh, well, you have a will. So you can't use that. Uh, from their hand, for each card discarded this way, you may get one star during the result step. So, you have to do this action right here, which I just want to know what it's called because it looks interesting. It looks like a seesaw. You have to balance or jump. You have to draw one card, at least one card, and get two stars. And that is how you make it through unharmed. However, if you do not get the two stars, a spine painfully sinks in your heel. So they like sting you. One random involved character takes a one eight card, which is probably gonna be bad. So how many cards do you think we should use? Um, I think I think two would probably be good. Yeah, two. All right, a one, a two. Let's see how many stars you get. So you got a half of a star. Uh oh. Oh, this is great. This is perfect because how it works is you combine the stars. So you did reach two stars, which means you succeeded. But right now you get to keep one of these. So, learn by doing, you may discard, discard this card during the cost step. 
of an action you're involved in in order to apply the following effect. So it's negative three. Um, wow, that's really good. That's negative three cards. Or you can get your own personal card, which is I, it, it represents you. And one involved character returns their tired or frightened state. Discard this. Oh, wow. So this means that if you get a bad card on you, you can just ignore it because you've got good nerves. Yeah. So what do you want to take? All right. You want the nerves of steel? So you put it down here. Now your hand limit is shown on our satchel, which is that you can have three blue hands and three green hands. Your items don't count. Uh, so right now you have two blue hands. You're good. I have one blue hand. I'm good. And now we continue on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Um, you succeeded, right? Yeah. So you make it through unharmed. Discard this. So it goes into the past section. Then... Alright. Then we get card number nine. Oh, and this goes into our discard. Mm -hmm. This music's kind of creepy. Yeah. This game's kind of creepy. Alright. The ground is totally barren here. In fact, the only vegetation among your surroundings are clumps of red seaweed clinging to the rocks. Plumes of yellowish smoke spurt from the ground from time to time, swirling around a dead seagull. Whoa. What is this place? Um, okay. Well, I'm up here. I'm doing my thing. Explored this. Let's see what's up here. I'm going to climb all the way up on these rocks, and I am going to do this map action. Let's see what the map action is. It is to go see. I'm going to investigate something over here. So I need to draw one card and get at least zero stars. Should not be hard. But luckily, I'm pretty sure I get to keep this card because anytime you do the action result, you get to keep one of the skills. All right, so I got the sixth sense. Look at the top two cards of the action deck, then put them back in any order, either bottom or top of it. Oh, cool. So that I can play that. Re that's going to be really helpful later on. So, 18, right? Okay. Oh, we drew two cards. No, we succeeded. I'm noob. <laughs> You're a noob. I am a noob. What do I see? I'm excited to see what I see. See what I see? Me, mo me what I see. <coughs> All right. You have reached the northern end of the island. So we're at the very tip of the north side of the island. You have no idea how much time it would take you to reach an area with more abundant resources. But one thing is certain. If you stay on this barren slab of rock, you are bound to starve. So I don't want to hang out here on the rock too long. Too many reefs. The, the many reefs that surround the island would surely wreck any craft trying to approach or leave. However, you might be able to swim through them. The sea is calm right now, but this is not a time to be reckless. Whoa. So I could potentially swim somewhere, but let's look at the icon here. It's got the stairs on it. And so the stairs... <laughs> mean meet... that both of us have to be there. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Go. So now it's your turn. Hmm. You got a lot of stuff. Oh, oh. I gotta make sure I do this. The island is growing as we continue to explore it. So, we have to put a one here and a one here because those are potential locations that you can go to. Oh. <coughs> That's below. Right here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just creating some camera space real quick. But you can take your turn. What, 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 what do you mm -hmm. want to investigate, Sean? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is... What, is what do I want to invest in? <coughs> what do you want to do? Huh. Mm. Magnifying glass. Doing a magnifying glass. Alright. It's free. One, three. So you draw zero cards. Okay. You're just investigating something here. Let's see what it is. Thirteen. What did you find? Sean, yell at me across the island. Hey, uh, Sean, what'd you find? I don't know. Ooh, you walked towards the dead seagull when you were just a few feet 
from it a gout of steam shh, spurts from the ground and severely burns you. This is definitely not your lucky day. You take a 104 card. Ouch. Hey, uh, I just got burnt by steam. Oh, um, wow, that's, that's rough. Yeah, I know. Superficial burn, deep cut, or fractured bone. Injuries on the seventh continent can be extremely life-threatening. So now you are injured. And this is an action that you can take uh, to get rid of it. A health symbol. But if you fail, things could get worse. So, oh, I should have also mentioned if we wanted to play on easy mode, we could use 777. Do you want to try easy mode? Yeah. <laughs> we were supposed to do this at the beginning. This is a major relic. If you lose the game, you may banish this to apply the following effect. So if we lose... Just as you are about to pass away, you suddenly hear a mocking laugh coming from nowhere and feel a wave of renewed energy flow through you, beginning you back to life. The continent does not seem to be done with you yet. Shuffle all the cards in the discard pile in the action deck and continue your advancer. Oh, so when we're about to lose, this will actually make it so we get one more go around. So that's cool. Oh, all right. Yeah. Camera looks all right. Yep, let's... I want to... <sighs> Oh, I'm injured. Mm. Hey, buddy. Do you wanna, I feel like you should come up here and uh, let's let's uh, let's go investigate. Let's, okay. Hey, because buddy. Because here's the thing. We uh, have a uh, we have stuff to do it right. We have we have this. We could use this. That would let us draw three less cards. Hey, buddy. Wait, that'd be bad because we would still have to. Uh, you know what? Forget it. How about we just not... Let's just go investigate. We don't need to leave the island, right? We yeah. need to try and solve this. We have the map. I'm going to focus. I think I should move down here with you. Hey, buddy. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do that. Investigate this dead seagull. All right. I got injured from it. Well, I will not. I don't care what dead seagulls look like. So I'm going to move. So I'm going to draw one card to try and get zero. I succeeded. It's a curse. That stinks. Can't keep it. Hey, what's up? Hey, dude. All right. What action should we do now? Need to go exploring more. Yeah. Okay. What are you thinking? One fifteen or six? One fifteen or six? Where are we going? I think we should go down. Cause yeah. let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. So this is the northernmost point of the island, right? Maybe here. Yeah. And we need to go down to there. That's what we're trying to find, right? Yeah, because go I am injured in that. Well, I think it'll be fine with your injury. We'll see. So, all right, we're going here, and we're going to do it together, right? Yeah. We draw zero cards. That's fine. Weaver fish. A weaver fish is hiding in the muck, and you just happen to see it at the very last second. Beware of stepping on its sharp, poisonous dorsal spine. <laughs> so, uh... Right now, we draw zero cards, and we have to get one. So we're going to have to draw some cards, but what's the, that's that symbol mean again? That one is, all of us must be involved. Okay. So we're all here. I'm here. Do we have anything that's going to help us with the eye? Um, wait, wait, I do. I have a sixth sense down here. Look at the top. Oh, we had to, so it was your turn, right? No, it was my turn. No, it was your turn. No, it was your turn. No, no, I moved. I just moved. You got burned by the dead seagull. I moved, and so this is technically your action. So look at the top... Well, we choose this. Look at the top two cards of the action deck, then put them back in any order, either both on top of it or both at the bottom of it. So I'm going to do that right now. We're going to look at the top two cards of the deck, because we have to get one star, and look at the top two decks of cards, put them back in any order, either both on top of it or both on the bottom. Help me do this. Boom. Right there. So... We draw, we get to draw zero cards for this, but we're going to choose to draw z more than zero, obviously. We're going to draw one. Sound good? Yeah. Hey, we got it! Sorry! And you get to keep that card. Which means this is, ooh, uh, you got to start spinning those cards. Knife and fork. The following effects is applies as long as you have this in the hand. Randomly take one card from the discard pile and shuffle it back into the action deck. Oh, whenever there's a knife and a fork symbol... I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, maybe there's are actions that you can take. Let's check real quick and see if there's a knife and a fork. Yep, whenever you take an eat-drink action, 
we get to put a card back into the deck, which is really good. But we've succeeded, and the Weaver Fish is... Oh, by sheer miracle, you avoid getting stunned. Hooray! We avoided getting stunned. Yeah, by that weird fish they call what fish? The what? weaver fish. What? Yeah, the weaver fish. All right. So, card number six. Hey, you remember that time I fought a giant octopus? Yeah. Oh yeah, you weren't there. You did hell. I did all by myself. Yeah, I heard the. Well, I. There is no smoke here. Some moss and even a few bamboo-like canes grow in this area. Ooh. Ooh, it's a, it's a jungle of bamboo. All right. Oh, we are in bamboo, which I actually need. No, I don't need bamboo. I need wood to make my bow. Dang. All right, so we need a one card right here for exploring. Hmm. I want to look at what's here. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. It's really hard to move here. Two. You got to draw two to move. That stinks. You cool if I explore it? Oh, it's my turn. I'm going to do it. I'm going to explore it here. You want to come? You want to yeah. come see what's over here? Okay. Yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? So we have to draw one card, get zero stars. I think we can accomplish that goal. Ooh, I can make snowshoes. Snowshoes. Hey, this place might get snowy. Who knows? And now we draw card number well. Ooh, the, card, the second card number 12 is gold. Mm. You hide and wait in silence. <laughs> why, why do I hide? You mean we! But why are we waiting in silence? I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, so please don't do that. Depending on the number of successes you obtain, take the corresponding number of cards. Reveal them. If at least one involved character is bloody, you must discard one of these cards without the keyword predator. I am so confused. It's card 12, right? Yeah. I guess we're hunting. I guess this is a hunting action? From the few tracks you spot... Oh, on the ground, it seems that a small animal was recently here. Maybe I should read the story, huh? Now that makes sense. You hide. So if we go here, we can hide, wait in silence, and try to hunt an animal. Interesting. All right. What would you like to do next? Hmm. Do you want to hide and wait in silence? Do you want to explore more? All right, yeah. Do Go over here. Zero, zero. Okay. Flip it over. What do we got? Lunch. Oh, cool. A plump seagull is hopping around just a few yards from you. If you are a vegetarian, just ignore it. All right. So, it's got the lock symbol on it. What does that mean? That means players must draw the exact number of cards indicated by the action unless they choose to apply card effects from their hands and or inventories. So, we have to draw... Only one card. And. Um. Uh, I know we're going to fail, though. That's that's the crummy part. Because I know what card's up there, remember? Oh, yeah. So, maybe. And we can always look at the discard pile. It says, choose one card in the discard pile. Add it to your hand and discard this. So, maybe we might want to do that and see if there's something in here that could help us. Yeah. Because we're looking for something that's going to help us with, um. The archery symbol and oh if i had my bow made i could do it Let's but see. there was no stinking water around yeah uh it doesn't look like anything in here is going to help us okay well if you know you're going to fail do you want to fail or do you, i think we should just i think we should just because we know we're going to fail right yeah so i think we should just go on your way yeah just discard this Unfortunately, as much as I would love lunch, because it also lets me do you, you do your gourmet thing, if we know we're going to lose, we should save the card and just keep walking. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, Seagull. And now we get card. What, what card number is it? Four. Guys, I was about to eat lunch. Well, the, too bad. <laughs> the seagulls flew. None of these would have helped you. Yep, those wouldn't have helped you. None of the, my cards wouldn't have helped you. 
Oh, but I do have a fish. I do actually have an action over here. Uh, food fish. options. But let's focus on getting four out. Progression in this direction is hampered by many jets of boiling steam. It seems you have to take a steep path to reach the ocean that you can see below. Ooh. All right, so we're over here now. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what to do next? I kind of want to go... Eight. I kind of want to go over here. Thirty-five. Yeah. So I draw one card, and I have to get at least... Oh, but there's rocks here. You know what? I actually... Oh, none of my actions... Need... Okay, I'm going to look at my fish card real quick. Randomly take four cards. Five if you have the fire resource. From the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck. Return this. Oh, this is really good. Really good. I think you should take this fish action. Um, I think you should just do that right now. After, well, after my turn. Let's do it. Let's do me first. Since we're doing turn by turn. Alright, so I'm going to go explore over here. I'm going to draw one card. Ooh. Another thing I can make. Pan pipes. I don't wait, know wait, 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 They need bamboo. Yeah, we need to find a spot. Oh, ooh. Something to think about. Uh, now, here's the other thing that I want to mention. You can still make this even without the uh, the bamboo or the wood. It's just you have to spend extra cards. So take a look at this card right here, Sean. Uh, in order to craft this, you're going to need three cards. And to craft it, it goes from here up into where it has a dice and you can use it, right? But, in order to do it, you're going to have to do three cards. If you happen to be on a spot that has wood, you only have to draw two cards. If you happen to be on a spot that has this, you only draw one card. So the, the more... So I can still make this, but I probably do want to wait until I'm on a bamboo, because if I'm on the bamboo, I will save us two cards. What's a pan pipe? Um, music? I think it's music to help cheer us up, because things are rough right now. But, card number eight. What do we find over here? <laughs> What do you think about this game so far, buddy? I like it. All right. You gaze upon the wide, endless ocean. The surf is rough and choppy, and the salty spray from the waves is enough to tell you that the water <laughs> is freezing. Swimming away will certainly not be easy. On the other hand, if you stay here for more than a few days, you will likely die. So I think... We might want to finish exploring this area and then just set off. Or we could just set off now. Uh, I don't know what you want to do. But it is your turn. Do you want to take this uh, fish action? Yeah, sure. Alright, so let's... Fishies. So you're going to take this action, which I'm assuming since we're on the same spot, it's not a problem. So you have to get zero and zero. And your special ability is randomly take one card from the discard pile and shuffle it back to the action deck. That's great. So we'll just take one of these right here. And we'll shuffle that back in in a second. Uh, so zero and zero. Randomly take four cards from the discard pile. Oh, so we just put... Wow, we're about to put five cards back into the action deck. That was great. One, two, three, four. So this is five. That really can help us out, buddy. Because this is our life, remember? Yeah. But now we've eaten this fish mollusk. So mm. it is now mm. in the past. Or is it banished? I don't remember. Uh, we'll set it right here for now. I'll look it up later. Uh, I would imagine it's right? banished. It's out. We're not going to get that fish mollusk again. All right. Unless if we kill another squid. If there is another squid. Not it. It. Okay. So, that card is actually useful. And we didn't actually uh, use the card. It's just something that you get. It's a bonus. Very cool. Bonus. So, do we want to explore over here more? Do we want to see what's over here? Or do we want to maybe just head out? Like, what are you thinking? Bye-bye island. That might kill us. You want to go? Yeah. So, let's see. We are going to be doing this action right here, which is the... I have a life jacket, and it has an anchor on it. You do. And that's actually really good, because... This, when you use it, is going to make it so we can get rid of one star. So it will only cost us eight stars. I don't have anything to help, do I? <laughs> nope. Nothing at all, because everything's down here. Yeah. So, 
Okay, so we'll use your life jacket, right? Which will definitely help us escape a little bit. We could also use it for this, but that would let us draw three less cards, and that's not really going to help us right now, is it? No. Let's escape this island, because apparently we need to go to a different... So I think this is just a small island off the main island. I think that's what's happening right now. So how many cards do we want to draw? That's the question. We need... Eight stars, and if we had 23, uh, we could use this symbol. A banner. Man, I wish did that raft, that stink. Wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. What if, yeah. instead of leaving now, we use one of your cards? Choose one card in the discard pile and add it to your hand. You could add this raft to your hand, and then we could make that raft. Yeah, let's do it. You want to do that? All right, yeah. so, uh, zero, zero. So, bam, discard, bam, hand. And now, we need to build the raft, which is going to cost us five resources. We don't have that, but I think it's worth it. I think we should still spend the five. What we do you think? Rope and wood, yeah. All right, so we're going to spend the five. This, this is going to hurt us. One, two, three, four, five. We have to get zero stars, which luckily we did. But we also get to keep one of these cards. And this is now up here. This is a raft that you have. Mm -hmm. Nice job bringing that raft. So which card do you want to keep, though? Huh. You can make a shovel. You could make bamboo armor. You could have this. You may discard this card during the result step of an action you were involved in order to apply. So this one just gives you a star. You can have, always use the star if you want it. A walking stick. And knowledge is power. You get more experience. Take one O3 card for each other knowledge is power card in the hands of all involved characters. That one doesn't seem too good right now. I want that bamboo arm. Okay. And I need bamboo and rope. Well, hopefully we'll sail to some place that has some stinking bamboo. Uh, bamboo is right there. All right. There's bamboo right there. Oh, well, we're about to leave the island, sure. <laughs> and why does it... Look, it, I have that bamboo armor on already right there. Well, maybe you need an extra one. Okay. So, I'm gonna get let's make sure we do this right, because we're, we're about to sail off the island. So... Dude, it's the middle of July. I'm hot. We're going to use your life jacket, right? Yeah. Which means we only have to get eight stars. Also, do you want to use this? The the raft? Obviously, we're probably going to use the raft, right? Yeah. Which means course. it automatically gives us two stars. And for every seven we get, we're going to get a star as well. So that's, uh, that's really good. So how many cards do we want to draw? That is the question. This bamboo armor earlier. Prevent getting, prevent getting injured and or paranoid. Yes. Well, unfortunately, that's not an option yet. Bamboo. So, um, we're using a wrap, right? Yeah. How many cards are we taking? I asked you that, and you just kind of oh, non separated so me. We need. So this means we automatically have two stars, and every seven we get is worth an additional star. So we have, we have to get six stars. Right now, we're scheduled to get, draw three cards. I think, that is cheating. If you were to look at these cards. That means we are only drawing three. Yeah. I don't think we should only draw three when we need to get six. Okay. But how many do you think we should draw? That's the question. Because we definitely want to sail off the island. Mm -hmm. Mm. Maybe maybe five? Maybe four? Five? Let's say we do five. We yeah. save five? Two of that? All right. Now you can flip them over. And we are looking for sevens and stars. Holy moly. Three of them right there. Boom. Keep flipping. Mm. So four. Five. Six. We got it. So we got more than we needed. We have succeeded. But now, uh, whose action was this? Mm -hmm. No, it was mine. Because you just built the raft on your turn, I think. Oh, yeah. 
Um, so I'm going to have to... I could draw a card, but then I also have to discard a card to get rid of. So... I don't need to play any music. Forget that. I'm going to get... Or... Yeah. No music? You may discard this during the cost step of an action you're involved in order to apply the following effect. Negative three stars. That seems pretty good. Or negative three, um... Diamonds. No. Alright. So. What do we got here? So now this is where things get interesting, buddy. Because got this symbol because we used a raft something different is going to happen something special so let's figure that out real quick and make sure we do this correctly so you may add together the number of the card you are to take and the number associated with the pictograph e.g take a 159 card or those number is equal to 159 plus 5 so i'm pretty sure since we're here we get to take 8 plus 5, a 13. But I'm also a little bit confused by this right here. Because there's a 23 right there. Which means... What does that mean? Oh, that's the succeed. To succeed, we get 23? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we succeed, we get 23. But... We get to get plus 5. So we actually get to go to 28. Okay. So, 28. Hopefully it's better. Because we had a raft. Yeah. This music makes you feel good. We're sailing away. You launch the craft and pull away from the islet. And yeah, so it, this is really nice. Is It says, oh, we're going card number eight. That's cool. This is the right card. So it's helping us out. After navigating for many hours, you are finally able to make to make out the wild coast of the seventh continent ahead on the horizon. So this wasn't even the seventh continent. This was the island near the seventh continent. So take two zero, zero, 003 cards. Take this one. I'm going to take that one. Wait, is this... Uh, is this yeah, these are the Technical difficulties here for a second. There we go. Alright. So we've taken two threes. Return all the cards on the board and in the past. Return all the cards on the board and in the past. Put a 125 card into play. Each player puts their figure on it. Okay, so I think we've discovered someplace new, but let's read this. A memory from your previous expedition comes to mind. Jimmy! The military demolition specialist kept repeating, If a stupid rock is stopping you, you'll get rid of it faster with dynamite than with a pickaxe. Experience points. Tip. Sometimes it is wise to postpone an action until you have the appropriate equipment. Thank you, Tip. We just did that, didn't we? We, we were like, you know what? We couldn't sh shouldn't sail until we get this raft. When you need to spend experience points, return this to spend one. So, later on, we might get to spend experience points, but this goes in our satchel. You remember these words whispered by Emil Z, the zoologist from the, zoologist from the previous expedition. Sean, I only knew a few of the wild animals we have had to face so far, but experience tends to show that when it goes sish, everything is fine. Well, while when it goes sish, you may want to get ready to fight. Okay. Another experience points. This continent is home to formidable creatures. So no matter what you like best, fighting or stealth, make sure that you are always prepared for the worst when you are exploring. All right. So we take the two zero zero three cards. We turn all the cards on the board and in the past. So all these cards, all these cards bye bye. in the past and on the board are going to get returned. And going bye bye. Yes, so I'll grab the cards from the past and then I'll put those back later because we might run into those again. But right now I don't need to do that. And we put a 125 card into play. And we are now officially, Sean, on the seventh continent. Yes. We were foolish to think we were on the seventh continent before. Yeah. 
The islet is narrow and uncomfortable. Apart from a few patches of red seaweed, the only type of plant in the sandy soil is a short, sickly weed. Alright. Here we go. We're on the... We are, we are on, on the that. official... Oh, 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 that's why I return them, because a bunch of them are these ones right here, which might come back into play. We might run into more sea urchins again. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, you have the first action to choose, but let me set up these cards first, because you may choose to explore. Mm -hmm. So these will go back in. Mm -hmm. huh? What you gonna do? Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. Zero cards, zero stars. <sighs> I really don't like the fact you're moving, because I'd like to investigate here. But sure, you go off by yourself, do your own thing again, and find another lunch. <laughs> <laughs> a plump seagull is hopping around just a few yards from you. If you're a vegetarian, ignore it. Would you like to try and get it this time? Yeah. Uh, so you're going to need, are any of these cards going to help you? No, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. So, uh, you're drawing one card. I don't like this choice because I think you're going to fail. And you failed, which means you get this card. So you have to get rid of another card or get rid of this card. Uh, let's see. So this one says, for every three cards drawn during the cost step of a fighting action, discard this. No more than three. Oh, oh, so for every three cards. So when we get into a fighting action, this is going to be really helpful. Um. I think you could use this right... Well, no, I can't. You're so you're, you're going to have to get rid of a card. Uh, I think your Gourmet is probably your weakest card here, I guess. But that's up to you. Yeah. Because now you got three of your own special cards. All right, you failed. Which means the seagull flies away. Immediately discard this back into the past. All right. And you get card number 55. 56, excuse me. Okay. All right, buddy. What have you discovered? Rocks peek out from the surface of the water, and if you are careful enough, you should be able to get across without getting wet. Hmm. Um. Whoa. So. <laughs> you have... Well, I do have a life jacket. I want to make sure that I am doing the move actions correct. Because I do believe the move actions will only let you go to an un, uh, a spot that's been found. So I want to make sure that I did that correctly. And I'll do that next time you take your turn. But for right now, 047. Oh, you have to be there, don't you? Yeah. Oh, dude... You went wandering off again. Well, I like I don't care. We're here for a reason. I got terrible dreams. I don't want to die. I don't care if you want to go slip and sliding over some rocks. <laughs> Wait, wow. what is that one? Uh, an action that all involved characters and only them must take. Oh. An action that... Oh, so I don't think you have to be here. An action that players may take. So I think we do have to be on there, which means I will do this 46 instead. You know better than that, Sean. So I'm going to go check out what's going on over here. I do have to draw a card. That stinks. But I've succeeded. Ooh, it's a blowpipe. This one's pretty cheap to make. You know what? I might get rid of the bow and do the blowpipe instead. And hopefully I'll find bamboo one day. Now, if it was already made, I could combine things together, but I cannot do that. So, I've succeeded, and now I'll look at card 46. Wait, don't you have card 46? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no. Card 46. Where is card 46? 45. 46 is not here. Oh, 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 oh. 
That's because I was supposed to put it back in there, I bet. Did I find another dead... No, it's not in here. Oh, it's because I already got it out. Noob. Dad's a noob. The eastern coast is bordered by towering cliffs that run for several miles. And you have high hopes of finding a strand further north where you could come ashore to the south. The ocean stems, extends for the far as the eye can see. Because, yeah, let's look back at the map. Actually, this isn't really going to help us yet. Considering the long distance in the cold water, swimming away would neither be reasonable nor safe. So this is another place that I can swim to. So I could try and swim further north, potentially. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Sean, you got to keep exploring down those rocks. Yeah. All right, flip the card over. Read it. I'm going to try and read something while you do this action. All right, I'm going to do 149. Nope, you're going to do that. Okay. Well, that's you have to do this to get to 149. Oh. There's also a red down here, which I wonder what that means. When players are on a terrain card showing this icon, they are not allowed to, to rest, make a fire, or craft. You can't do any of that stuff. All right. Flip it over. See what happens. What you got? What you got? Oh, great. Weaver fish. A weaver fish is hiding in the muck, and you just happen to look at it at the very last second. Beware of stepping on its sharp and poisonous spine. So you get to draw zero cards. Uh, how did we get out of this last time? Uh, one star. Yeah, but there was a... So this one says, an action that all involved characters and only them must take. So I'm not here. So I can do this action then. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to figure that out. Um, so is there any way you can... Mm. How many cards do you want to get? Because it's not locked. You can pick something up. Uh, you're going to get two. Well, anything do. One involved character returns to tired or frightened state. Discard this. Actually, this is really good. This would like let you get rid of this. Because this is going to hurt you eventually. Uh, okay. But, you're going to draw two cards? Yeah. I'm cool with it. One. Oh, okay. We got that out of the way. So, would you, first things first, would you like to keep this, this is a trap that you can make, uh, and get rid of one of these? Or do you want to hold on to that? No. Because you can just discard it, it's not a big deal. I'm going to discard. I would not recommend discarding that. I think you need to use that as your next action. Well... You want to get rid of something? Do you want to get rid of that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. So, you succeeded. By sheer miracle, you avoid getting stung. Hooray. Yeah, because. No, it's be by sheer miracle. That's why. That's why, Sean. This is a... <laughs> the past. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What number? 149. The ruins of what must have at one time been a tower remain above the waterline where it must have stood before being swallowed by the ocean. Hmm. Very intriguing. Yes, indeed. It's got stone and it's got leaves. Hmm. Do you need stone or leaves? You don't need... Oh, you do need stone. That'd be a good place to make your deadfall trap, too. Well... All right, I am going to, so fine, if you're going to explore that way, I'm going to go explore some other way. Maybe I'll just go up north. We probably do want to stay kind of close together. So I am going to go over here instead. Let's see what we got. Flip it over. Thinking ahead. You take some time to ponder your possible options going forward to survive in this hostile environment. One involved character may discard one card with the keyword will, <coughs> which I have, from their hand or inventory, in order to obtain a star during the result step of the following action. Eureka! I've got it! 
One involved character may choose one card in the action deck or the discard pile and add to their hand. I will. I will use this will card to give me a star, and I have... St I've got an idea, Sean! I've got an idea! I've got an idea! Well, what's your idea? One card in the action deck or the discard pile. So let's take a look at the discard pile. Uh, and I get... My idea is that... Um, well, how many stars do you need? I, I feel like we should examine the notes. I feel like we got important information somewhere. And I'm going to examine the notes. That's the action I'm taking. Okay. So, I've succeeded because I'm going to draw zero and I get the one, which means I thought ahead, Sean. And as a result, now we have 88. What have I found? Wonder what you there are about 300 yards between the continent and a small island. So there's about 300 yards. That's the old island we went to. Oh, okay. The sea... Oh, wait. The sea looks serene and calm. A sandbar should enable you to wade a far distance quite safely. But it would be wise for a craft to avoid it. Put a 120 card... Or a 125 card... Okay, so if I choose to go this way... I'm going to the... I, I, I think I'm going back to the small island we were just on. Yeah. But it might be something else. I don't know. Actually, I, I, kinda, I can check off first. It's your turn, though. No, I think this is something different. But either way, it's your turn. Okay. I've discovered something that I might do. But I don't have the raft. You have the raft. Oh. Do you want to make something real quick? You also can investigate. I would also recommend using your nerves of steel to get rid of the injured thing. Okay. So, read it first. One involved character returns their tired or frightening state. This so, you, this. you could get rid of... Oh, wait. Oh, tired or frightened. This isn't tired or frightened. Never mind. You can't do that. But you could build your deadfall trap, if you'd like. Deadfall. All right, so let's, let's take a look at it so you know how to do it. You have to get, you're going to have to get three cards, but since you're in a spot with rock, that's minus two. So you only have to lose one card, and you make the Deadfall Trap. So this card, and you could also keep this card, can't you? That's really weird. That mechanism is kind of cool. Life in the wild. So our raft, we've used our raft once, right? So now it's a three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And this is your trap, which is a two. Now, you cannot have any more items. Okay? Until you discard something. unless Or you could combine something with it. So, let's see. You could combine this uh, these, this bamboo armor and this deadfall trap. You know, it doesn't make much sense. And then you would gain both the bonuses, potentially. It would slide like this. And the really cool thing is you would get to add four more to your die. So, you'd go up to six on that. So that could be really useful. But you made that. that was, I think that was a solid solid idea because, oh, yeah, you're going to get that bird next time. Oh, yeah. And you get two stars for every seven you get? Wow. Okay. I am over here. I've checked out. Oh, I can do this right now, can I? Yeah. Because I don't need you. I need you. But you know what I am going to do? I'm going to go ahead and try and examine the notes. I think that's a smart idea. So I'm going to do this examine the notes card. And I'm going to take one action. And it's one star. And I got it. Booyah. And I get to keep this card. Take two 50 cards. Keep one and return the other one. And then discard this. So something good's about to happen, Sean. I'm feeling it. Take two 50 cards. Return one. Discard the other. So I, ooh, either a treasure map, the place this map points to must certainly conceal a buried treasure, or Fragonia. This page torn from a botanist journal reads, this is, Fragonia produces edible red berries, which the local fauna seem to really appreciate greatly. Uh, when this plant can be seen on your train card. You should take the treasure map. Take How does it work, though? Oh! Fragonia. I guess this is a plant we're going to run into. When this plant can be seen on your terrain card. 
oh, this is just a permanent thing. So if we find this plant anywhere, we're going to be able to lose a star or gain a star or lose a card or spend one less card, which is really good. This one, however, is going to be take a card whose number is equal to the number of your training card plus 24 from the adventure deck if possible. If not, right card, return it. <clears throat> you want to try the treasure map? Yeah. Okay. So now we have treasure map. I don't know if that's the best choice, but <laughs> we'll see. So we have a treasure map, and it's in both of our satchels. So you can take this action, I think, whenever you want. So what action do you want to take? Do you want to continue on exploring? Do you want to try and heal your wound? Because you could try and heal your wound. You could also go exploring for treasure. You could uh, make your bamboo armor and combine it with your deadfall trap, even though I don't think it'd be a good time to do it. Yeah. What? Or you could come hang out with me and we could see if we could float up to a higher spot on the island. But that would cost movement action. Well, I... Lots of choices, and I feel like we're only going to get more and more. Where are you going, buddy? I don't really want to keep our distance, so I'm just going to... How about you just keep exploring, and I'll come to you. Because okay. I feel like I really don't want to leave the island. I'm cool just exploring the island right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll come to you. Look at this. You take care of that. Now, let me make let me make sure, because I think I can join you. All of my... But I think I have to... I'm pretty sure I have to be near you in order to join you. I think I would have to move first. So choose the active player. Check for other involved characters. Any player whose figure is on the same card. Yep. Can't do it. Now, what we could do is, if you want, we could just let me go again, and I could just move right here. That'd be my whole action. And then you can explore here. I think okay. we should do that. Yeah, we can do that. So it's going to cost me two stinky feed action. So two cards. Bummer. Bummer. A rope and a bolus, which is whoa! Woo wee! Um, bye bye, blowpipe. You are out. Yeah. You are most dead. Oh, but there's only one use on this. But remember, if I could combine it with another aggressiveness card, I could bump this up from a one to whatever number I wanted. So that's ooh, that's something to treat you. You have three items. I need to get an item out. All right. So I moved all the way over here to you. Wait, wait, wait. You don't have a sword icon. How about... I do have I take, a life jacket. How about I take another action real quick and just build this? Yeah. Okay. I think that's smart. So that way I'll have a weapon too. So since we have rock here, it's only going to cost us one card. Boom. And we didn't need to get any stars, but I do need to keep this. Cool. Lucky star. And now I have a one here. So if I need to use this, I can, even though I don't really want to. I want to upgrade it so it can last longer. Now, so this is why, so I do like this. We, I just took essentially three turns in a row, but it didn't really feel like it. We're ready. We're refreshed. We're restocked. Let's do it. Let's get, check out 241. But first, what do we got? I'm coming with you, buddy. Flip it, flip it. Sea I really wish you would have looked at that first. I forgot about that. Sea urchins! The ground is covered with hundreds of these guys. Each character getting involved in the following action may discard any number of cards with the keyword skill from their hand and or inventory. For each card discarded this way, you get one during the result step. So right now we're drawing one card to get two stars. Do you have any skill? I do have a skill. Um, so this would get me... This is going to get us... So yeah, I'll, I'll spend this. So, we now have to get one star instead of two stars. So, you think maybe we draw. A... Do you have a skill? You don't have a skill. I think we should draw one card. Or two cards. What do you think? Yeah. Do we have anything that's going to help us? Nope, 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 nope. If you move to a train card where there's an explorer or fire figure. Oh, actually, you know what? We should not have even had to draw a card. I, I, I should have been using our special ability. Oh, well. Anywho. Two cards, right? Mm-hmm. Two cards. We got the stars we needed. There's a woven cord and a woven basket. Would you like either of these? I want a woven cord. Okay, we gotta get rid of something. I'll get rid of... I don't think we're gonna be needing 
life in the wild. I think we will. But if you want to get rid of it, it's your choice. It's your turn. Yeah. I, I read it. Yeah, I think it's poor choice. But hey. Which one did you want? I, I'm going to go woven cord. All right. I don't know what you're going to do with the cord, but hopefully it'll come in handy. And we have succeeded, which means we've made it through the sea urchins. Good, good, good for us. Why is there sea urchins everywhere? Because uh, we're by the sea and the oceans, I'm uh, going to guess. But more importantly, 241 comes into play. Yeah, 241. 241. 41. Two rocky peaks occupy most of the island's surface. To the east, the ocean stretches endlessly. So, nothing over that way. <laughs> But we do have some there. Yeah. So let's grab one of these cards. And then it is my turn. So what do I want to do? Right here. Ooh, bamboo is here. Oh, I don't have anything to make bamboo. I but <laughs> I got bamboo armor. Oh you do. Um I think you should take your turn next time. I think we should make your bamboo armor, and I think we should attach it somehow to this, this trap we have. Why? Why? Because if we do that, like I said, now this is what it looks like, and this number goes from two to six, because you get to add this to that. I think it's a really cool, smart choice. Plus, you know, how many times have you had to discard cards? So now at least we have an extra card for you to hold on to. So you want to do that? Yeah. All right, you can take the next action. We have to, but we have we get two bamboo, so we have to draw one card, and you get to keep it. Ooh, it's that one. So this would be the end of the game if we draw it uh, next time. But right now we're good. But we are running, are in a little bit low there. But now, well, that goes tucked right there. And this number goes to six. Awesome. That's really useful. Hey, Dad. Yes. Are you forgetting we have... I know we have something in here somewhere. In our inventory? Oh, the relic? Oh, yeah, we do have the relic. So we're good. We're good. We're good. We got a lot of stuff in our satchel. All right. I don't want to go exploring just yet. I would actually like to investigate this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think this is a dig spot. Oh, we could. We also could do the treasure action. Mm. But right now, right now, I'm not here for dig treasure. I want to see what's over here. Remember that plant? Oh yeah, you. Uh, we didn't keep it though, did we? Yeah. But that's another thing, Sean, that I forgot to mention. You need to look really close to the cards. So uh, try not to get your head in the camera. But there's hidden numbers on some of the cards sometimes, and those are like secret things you can find. But yes, since that would be there, if we would have kept that thing, it would have been uh, useful. But we instead have the treasure map, which might even prove more useful. So, 158, I'm going to go investigate here. We do zero, zero. I'm cool with doing zero. Would you like to come with me and investigate this, Sean? Sure. Might as well. I mean, you're right there. Yeah. yeah. What do we got? 158. Um, Ooh. Small animal tracks can be seen on the ground here. A nearby boulder is downwind from the tracks and could provide you with decent cover from which to keep watch. Oh, we can, we can get ourselves an animal. Yeah. And you have a trap, which guarantees we would get that animal almost. Uh, minus three. And or prevent getting injured from, or yeah. So, uh, it's your, we did the investigation, we discovered this, it's your turn, I think we should consider trying to, uh, to do it. To do... Try and hunt the animal. Yeah. Gonna do that? Alright, I'll come with you. Yeah. Depending on the number of successes you have ten, take the corresponding cards. So we're gonna draw two cards, and we have to get at least three stars. If we get three to four stars, we get this, and we get better stuff. So, do you want to use the trap? Yeah. All right, so turn it to five. And that is going to guarantee us that we will get 
one star, and for every seven we're get we're gonna get for every seven there is we'll get two stars. So how many cards do we have to draw? We have to draw two cards at least, and we need to get one, st two stars right now, pretty much. Yeah, because um, we we needed three stars. So how many think we should draw? I think maybe two. I think we'll yeah, be fine yeah. with two. All right. Two. So we're drawing two more cards. First one. Oh no! We only got one star, which means we have failed. But, okay, I, I can do something. You may discard this during the result step of an action you're involved in in order to apply the following effects, and I could add two stars to it. But I don't think it's worth it. Because it's just food, right? Mm. But here's the thing. If we fail, I, I think we should just fail here. Yeah. Who took, I took this action, right? No, you took this action. No? Because I discovered it, and then you did it. Oh, yeah. So, since you failed, you now have become paranoid, which is card number 100. So, if more than one player is involved in an action that is a failure, we have to take card 100. Now, we could have immediately succeeded with these bolas, but I didn't want to use them, because I want to, I want to level them up. Oh, man. So, card number 100. What do we got? You are now... Paranoid. Paranoid. It's all his fault. I know he's not doing his best. I can see it. I'm not even wondering if he did it on purpose. I really need to keep an eye on him. That's how you feel right now. And it makes sense. Why didn't he use the bolus? We could have easily killed that thing with the bolus. Yeah. Are you paranoid, buddy? Yes. Return this if there's no other character on your terrain card and on adjacent terrain cards. So this stays here. Look up. Wait. Look at my ability. When you get a red hand state, you may discard one card with the keyword aggressive from your hand or your inventory in order to ignore the effect of the X icon. So, oh yeah, this is good. So since you just got this, this means that, uh, oh, oh actually, have we been doing these wrong? I think we might have been doing these wrong. Let me, let me check this real quick. It's win or die. Yeah, you're supposed to hold these in your hand. Okay. Um, so this card, when it happens, means that you are going to have to discard. It would be one, two, three cards off the top of the action deck, unless you're willing to get rid of an aggressiveness card in your hand or inventory. You would have to discard this. Which I don't think you want to do. No. So instead, three cards from the top of our inventory go away. Which is why we might have wanted to heal this injury. We fuck. Well, I mean, you have to spend cards. But right now, three cards are just gone. Discarded. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. No club. So we don't want to fail again. So return this if there is no other character cards on your terrain card and on an adjacent terrain. So if we can... You you need a little bit of space for me in order to get rid of that card. It kind of makes sense. But it's it's my turn, and I think we should go... Digging, maybe? Uh, we have to get rid of four cards to go digging, though. And we can't really afford that many cards. Yeah. So I'll just go exploring. How about that? Yo, go exploring. You coming with me? You can come with me. It's Because here's the thing. The only way you're going to be able to get rid of this is if you're essentially two cards away from me. So you would have to be here and I would have to be there. Okay. So you come with me? Yeah. Okay. Hot stuff. There are fumaroles between you and your destination. You notice that the most numerous ones spurt their gases less frequently. Take a 45 card and apply Consequence A if you decide to walk on the yellow holes. Or Consequence B if you decide to walk on the white holes. We should go on the white holes. Hmm, let's look at it. Hmm. Sure, let's go on the white holes. Yeah, because there's no gas coming up from the whites. 
Card 45. We will see what it does. You pause, watching the patterns of the venting steam, trying to time your run. You dash towards the... So we got B, right? White ringed holes. The scalding steam does not shoot from the ground again until you are well clear. Take card three. Good Woo! choice. Good choice, my friend. And we'll have to remember that later on because this is a card that might come up again, I think. Yeah, that might Maybe come up again. Maybe when we find them, it's a pattern. It goes white, no shoe, green, no shoe. White, no shoe, green, no shoe. I don't, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, so I get card three. Sweet. Well, I. Good. Actually, I am, it's my active turn. And I did the actions. No, actually, this is my action, Sean. I, you decide to come with me. Remember? Yeah. An experience from your previous expedition comes to your mind. Daniel M., the team's anthropologist, taught you that prehistoric man's wisdom teeth were designed to replace their molars as they were eroded by the intense chewing of raw meat. Uh, oh, we got another experience point. Sweet. So we're leveling ourselves up as we're exploring the island. But now let's get to 312. The past. Hmm. Okay, here we go. You have reached the northern end of, of the archipelago. You seem to notice a strange, colorful spot in the water, but you can't really be sure from the distance. Hmm, Ooh, a strange, colorful spot in the water indeed. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> and to walk anywhere else is going to cost us four. Mm. Yikes. Ooh. Okay. It is your action. There's nowhere to go from here, but we can definitely do some exploring. Yeah, uh, like, what's the, that little, you see those little penguins? Hmm? Those penguins. Oh, can you check that out? Uh, there's no, I don't know there is. We can investigate. You want to investigate? Yeah. All right, so I will come with you. Yeah, there's a bunch. Hey, dude, there's a bunch One card. of penguins. Which uh, you can hold on to because yeah, because you you only have three. You didn't need to get any stars, so we get two sixty three. A penguin lies motionless on a rock, bleeding from a wound on its breast. The animal seems to be dying. Will you put it out of its misery or attempt to nurse it back to health? Mm. So we can either try and heal it, or we can try and we can kill it, which is uh, easy. But the healing, I think we should try and heal it. Yeah. I mean, it's your it's your choice. Yeah, let's heal him. All right. So it does have the lock symbol, which means players may not alter the default cost of the action, the number of cards to be drawn by the action, unless they use. So we can use cards from our hand, but we can't do that. Do we have anything that's going to help us with healing? No, we do not. All right. So we're going to be drawing two cards, and we have to get three stars. Let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. Yeah, we should draw... We oh. don't get to change the number of stars, or the number of cards we draw, because there's a lock on it. Oh, yeah. One. There's a half of one, so we have one star. We failed. But I can discard... Valiant hearts shall not fail. You may discard this during the resulting step of an action you are involved in in order to apply the following effect. But I take a one-on-one -on -one card, which is probably something bad. But I think we should do it for the penguin. Think of the penguin, Sean! Yeah! Alright, so I'm going to discard this. I get a one-on-one -on -one card. You get to uh, keep one of these. No, 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 this is my action. No, this is your action. Yeah. I'll so if you want to, you can keep one of these. Look at them and see if you want them. Ooh, that one looks like a oh. oh, it's a pull. <laughs> I'll get card one-on-one out, because I have to deal with that. And it is... Beep. You are feeling increasingly drowsy and are struggling to stay awake. You cannot wait to find a safe, comfortable place to rest. I'm tired. I'm so tired. So tired. Well, I, need, I need to rest, man. Alright, what do you want to do? What you want to do? You keep it on? 
I'm, I'm still reading this one. Uh, that one, you need knowledge as power cards in order to use it. We've passed it once before. I don't think it's great. Okay. Let's just Honestly, take, I don't think either of them are particularly great. Let's um, Well, then you're going to have to get rid of something, Sean. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, don't get rid of that one. That lets me, that one lets me get rid of my tired card. I think you should just get rid of both of them, personally. Or your your weird stone thing. You get rid of that one? Randomly take up to seven cards from the action deck. You may add one blue hand card to your hand. You must shuffle the other cards back into the action deck. And, slash or, the discovered pile. You choose for each card. Discard this. What you gonna do? Get rid of this. Okay. You keep it. Alright, make a pull. And if you do get that pull, since it's a skill, if you decide to make it, it can go right under here, and it will add four to a die roll. So that would bump you back up to six on either of those. So that one is uh, not a bad. And ooh, and it needs a lot of bamboo. So if you are, if we end up being on a bamboo spot, you can make this for free. Very, very cool. But there is a bamboo spot under us. Yes, but it's going to cost us four to move there. Oh. But more importantly, Sean, think less of your upcoming poll and think more of the fact we've nursed this poor penguin to life. So it says 99, but then it also has a symbol right there. Let's see what that symbol means. Banish this green card and replace it with a gold card bearing the same result. 99, and banish this green card and replace it with the gold card. Oh. Gold card. So we get 99. It's probably going to be a fixed penguin. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, so banish this card and replace it with the gold card, so we need the gold card of 263. All right, ooh, ooh, what do we got? Maybe we'll have a little penguin friend will come with us. Okay, oh, a gold card. All right, what do you want to do first? So we want to, well, we banish this card, right? Yeah. Banish, it's gone forever. But we, we're gonna have a, we're probably gonna have a fixed little pin. Which one are we gonna do first? Uh, the gold. The waves intensify. You do not want to stay here too long. Oh. But, healed from its injury, the grateful penguin waddles away towards its flock. Penguin's friend! Oh, cool! The penguins will be there to warm you up and comfort you when you need it. Penguins! When penguins can be seen on your terrain card, you may return your freezing state and or the following action. So if you see penguins somewhere, you need to point them out. So good eye. Keep your eyes open for those penguins. Oh, there's penguins right here, too. Oh, yeah! So now it's kind of like a, a eye spy. We're looking for penguins on different stuff. Is there any other penguins here? Yeah, there's penguins here. So yeah. we there's could take this action. on different icy places. So let me see. When penguins can be seen in your train card, you may return your freezing state and slash or take the following action. Each involved character returns their frightened and or terrified. What do you have? Do you have frightened and or terrified? You have injured. And what's your other bad stuff you have? Paranoid. You're injured and you're paranoid. Isn't there one more? No? You're just injured and paranoid? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we I think for your action, you should do that for me. Yeah. Hey, dude. I'm tired. Wait, wait, wait. How many cards are you going to give up, though? Because you have to get one star. Mm. And I want you to succeed. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. So I think maybe two. Just to be safe. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to use this woven cord. All right, let's make sure. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? No, no, no. No, no, no. You're doing this. So you're trying yeah. to... You're trying to... You're fine. You're fine. You're not tired. You're not tired. Yeah. You got nerves of steel. And we got, we failed. Your pep talk did nothing. Which means, oh no. Which means now you're paranoid again. You get card number 100. Oh no. Do we have anything that's going to help us with this? Nope. So, uh, you do get to keep one of these cards. 
So pick one of these two of your cards to keep, and you also are paranoid. So you are double paranoid. Luckily, this one doesn't have that symbol on it, so that's good. But the next time it does, we're going to lose five. Oy, we're going to lose five cards in here if you get hurt again. Yikes. If Which I one are you keeping? Torch. Oh, this one lets you move for free, which might be good. That, that's really good. Water knows the way. Yeah, I think that's a great one to keep. Yeah. Right. Water. So this is bad, buddy. If we run out of these cards, then all these cards get shuffled back up, right? Yeah, and, well, if, and we have that bad and, curse. And that, if we, well, no, if we hit any one of these, we lose. Wait, remember that curse that had a design on it? That That's just to help you. That that's just extra. That's just artwork. Yeah, but that is that really bad curse. Nope. Same as uh, same as the rest. Just with artwork. All right. So what do we want to do? Neither of us are frightened or terrified. You just tried to heal. You just tried to give me a pep talk unsuccessfully. Let's go over here to these rocks and let's get this red stuff. You cool? You want to come? Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's go. Do, 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 do. So uh, we just card one. It's gonna have to do that, and I will keep it because I need cards. Knowledge is power. You get more experience. Take one. Uh... So I need to get more of those cards to do anything. Then four thirty-eight. What have we found? That's one of the higher cards in the whole game. Yeah. Four thirty-eight. Contrary to your first impression, the water is nice and clear, enabling you to clearly see a deep water diver swimming in the pit. There's a dude. Only the active player may get involved in the following action. So it's just me. Take so take a 404 adventure card from the available deck. No, 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 it's not my turn. That's right. I just we looked over here. Oh no, I'm doing the action right now. Yeah. It is an actual dude. Oh no, so we just spied him. So no, it is your turn. Uh, so if we succeed, take a 404 card from the adventure deck. If we fail, take a 436. So... It's probably... Four, four, the 446 is probably the dude noticing we're here. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. It's your turn, and you can guarantee yourself a win by using your life jacket and just waiting out to him. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, so uh, you'd have to use your life jacket. We could also use the raft, but that seems... Wait. Weird. Oh, well, it would be cool, though, because if it had this symbol, then we would get a different result. But no. So you want to use that? So move it to the two. And you draw zero cards. You get your one success. Take a 404 card from the adventure deck, if available. Hmm. 407, 404, oh, there's a couple, oh, 404. Your vision blurs slightly and a memory from your childhood appears in your mind. With remarkable clarity, you are chasing a butterfly in your grandparents' yard until you run out of breath and give up, double over your hands on your knees and pant heavily. You are underwater, running out of oxygen, and your wrist is stuck is stuck fast. So this is no time for reminiscing. So you had something bad happen to you while you're here. All right, this is four you. four. You you did the action. No, actually, you did the action. You used your life jacket, Sean. Remember, I discovered the action. You used the action. Please stop doing that. I know that you don't want to take a penalty. But you can't cheat, okay? No, I came with you. No, no, no. You came with me to do this, remember? Then we yeah. saw the guy, and you used your life jacket to do that. Okay? Okay. So, what's this mean? It's got the red around it. You remember what the red is? Oh, that means... It means an action that all involved characters and only them must take. So, luckily, we're both involved, because I came with you. Yeah. Well, we didn't ask, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for support. So, so this is a what? So this is just while you're swimming over to him, you get caught. You're underwater. So we need to get three stars. So you manage to free your hand and swim back to the surface as fast as you can. Take a 103 card, or you are on the verge of drowning. That sounds bad. Let's not drown. Let's succeed. 
Okay. Do we have anything that's going to help us with the strength? No, no, no. Yikes. Do we have any cards down here might help us? Nope. Sure don't. <laughs> Nothing down here? Nope. All right, so this is this is it, buddy. How many cards do we want to draw? We got to get three stars. Maybe three? Yeah. I think three is good. Come on, baby. One. <gasps> One and a half. Two and a half. We just failed. And I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no. This is bad news. Boy. All right, so let's read the bad stuff. Take a 4-3-6 card from the adventure deck if available. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're not on this card right now. We're at 404, which is... Where was 4? Oh, here. Ugh. You are on the verge of drowning. 107. And for each success you were short, so we were short one success, randomly discard one card from the action deck. You must immediately take this action again. That's really bad. So first things first, we get 107, if we're going to survive this, that is. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. So oh, we will get to 107 eventually, but not for now, because right now we must immediately take this action again. For each success you are short, randomly discard one card. Sean, please stop. Put it down. All right. So we were short one success, so we do... So now, if we get to a skull, it's bad. Okay? So we discard that one. That's fine. That's just something we have to discard. Uh, also, you know what we should have done? You should have got to keep uh, one of the cards we flipped over. Because we had three, right? Oh, they're right here. They're still right here, actually. So, would you like to keep one of these? Doesn't look like... Skilled fighter... None of these are actually going to help us right now. No. Okay. And actually, these should get shuffled back into the deck because they should have already been. All right, and now we have to do that again. We're still close to drowning. Do we want to try? So we have to get... Three stars. Three stars. Do we need four cards this time? Yeah. This is bad. Yeah, we should... Just half. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh wait, oh 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 okay, that's not good. And we failed again God. by one. Which means how does this work? Uh we take Ugh. So we, we discard this, and we have lost. But, 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 we're on easy mode, which means luckily we have the relic. Where is the relic? Not the, not the penguin's friend, not the treasure map. Oh, dude, wait, time out. Time out. We failed. You get another one of these. Oh, uh, which means we're actually going to have to discard one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Um, so we failed on the relic. Um, so let's let's do this, and then we're going to take our six card penalty. This is bad. This game's hard, isn't it? Yeah. All right, major relic. So we got this though, luckily, which means. If you lose the game, you may banish this to apply the following effect. Just as you're about to pass away, you suddenly hear a mocking laugh coming from nowhere and feel a wave of renewed energy. Shuffle all the cards in your discard pile back into your adventure action deck and continue your adventure. Okay. So, this is actually still our discard pile. All this is our discard pile. Actually, this should... Be. No, no, no. So, all this stuff is going to... So, essentially, we're just going to restart everything. So we get another whole chance to not die. Yes. Let's see if we can make it worthwhile, Sean. <laughs> yeah. So, 
We do need to take our six card punishment though, because we did. This is still happening. You are you're just all kinds of screwed up right now, buddy. You're super paranoid. You're injured. I'm just a little bit tired, but you were just Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Ow! You need to get away. We need to cure this paranoia of yours. You need to just go off the island over here. You explore by yourself for a little bit, okay? But first, we have to make sure you don't drown to death. Because that's always good. So, we've gotten rid of our six cards, right? Mm -hmm. You took your next paranoid, mm -hmm. which means now we're once again back to trying to let you not drown. I think this time we should be safe and just take five cards. Just say, yeah, forget yeah, it. Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is getting ridiculous. One and a half. We got two. There's that. Three. We only get one more card. We have to get it. Come on. We got it. One, two, stinking three. Oh my gosh. But you do get to keep one of these cards. So, mm. shovel. Shovel. Back with that. Shovel is a terrible card for you to take. Yes. Because you do not, do you know why? Why do you, why is it terrible? Uh, because we're going to be away from each other, and who knows? No. And I'm going to drown. No. Uh, the shovel is a terrible card because you have already had three, car three cards up here. You have no more dice to use. Oh, Which yeah. means you could combine this, but only if you had a card that had stamina on it, and you don't have a top card with stamina on it. So you can't actually do that without getting rid of one of these, and I don't think you want to get rid of one of these, do you? No. So I would pick one of the other three cards. Lucky star. Knowledge is power. You probably don't want that one. I could use that one, though. The following effect applies... Effect... That's the one you got rid of earlier. This one is a card that will let you do negative two when we have to draw a lot of cards, and or make it so all our sevens are going to give you a star. Oh, we actually might have succeeded at something. So this is really extra special good. I misunderstood this. This is, no matter what, you're going to get three stars. Um, if we have... No, no, no. The sevens, like that, means that that's worth the star. This is, even if you don't have a seven, that's going to be worth the star. So that's really good. Uh, I would personally take that one, but that's up to you. Lucky star. All right, so it goes down here. It's your third card. This gets discarded. And you successfully didn't drown! Hey, look at there. We yes. can get you some swim lessons. Yeah. But more importantly, 107, you are sweating profusely and the madness of sheer terror fills your eyes. It takes everything you have to suppress the irresistible urge to curl up in a ball and scream uncontrollably. You are terrified. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We've, how many times did we fail? Twice? Yeah. So you actually should have this, and you should have this, and we should lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Wait, what, what, didn't we have something that took care of Paranoid, but we failed on you when you were tired? It no. took care of... Oh, Terrified. So, and one, two, tired. three, four, five, six, seven cards. Ooh. That really hurts. Doesn't matter right now. But, um, we have succeeded. Take a 404 deck from the adventure card. Wait, we already did that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. You managed to free your hand and swim back to the surface as fast as you can. Take a 103 card. Oh, 103. No, that's 103. No, 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 that was it. Oh no, you still get a... Oh my gosh, this game is mean. Yeah, what is it? You get, you're frightened. So is there no actual way to get to this guy? Yeah. So take a 404 card from the adventure deck. You did that, which means you're about to drown. That was the success. Wow. Um, I, we, I, I think we should just walk away. We're, we're not going to be able to figure out what this mystery is. Um, yeah. That was, wow, that was unfortunate. Yeah. So, 
It's, well, let's just, how about you just get away from me so yeah. you can get rid of this frightened stuff. Luckily, now you have- Now paranoid. The, yes. So you can use that and you can go wherever you want. Water knows the way. So the question is, where do you want to go? We still need to investigate down here. You, do, you can investigate there. You can go treasure hunting here. You could go hunting down here. You can take another try on the hunting. Because now, oh, we should have succeeded at hunting the first time. So we did mess that up. You should have automatically succeeded. Oh, well. What do you want to do, buddy? Where are you going to? Huh. It's got to be at least... Oh, don't go here. You need to go at least two spaces away from me. So that way, you can stop being so paranoid. Maybe check out one of these? I don't know. I'm going to check out that map-like thing. Okay. 268. Wait, no, no, no. You just move. You're not doing 268 yet. So, now, you are no longer paranoid. 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 That's good. Return this card. So it goes back to 100. Yikes. Well, I'm still terrified. We can deal with all your other personal issues later. But for right now, let's focus on... Um, Golly. Take a 404 card from the adventure deck. Man. Even when we succeeded, it felt like we failed. Yeah. You managed to free your hand and swim back to the surface as fast as you can. You know what? I'm going to check it back out. Because it says... You know what? I'm not giving up. I'm going to try and find out what this guy is. I'm going to take a 404 card from the Adventure deck. I do have to get at least one star. Um, so, I do... Oh, I don't have anything that's going to help me on here. You know what? I'm going to take a move action. Uh, you could use... I cannot, because that is yours, and you are all the way over here. Um, I'm going to go over to you, now that you're not paranoid anymore. So it's going to cost me four to move, but I can do negative three cards. So, so one one. and actually, I think my special, if you move to a train card where there's an explorer or a fire figure, it's negative w minus one. So right now, that's a free move action for me. Woohoo! Sweet. Hey, dude, what's up? What's up? I so see you're going to check out this map right here. Yeah. 268? Yeah. Bam, you get this, Fighting Fury, which uh, you can keep because, oh, no, 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 you'd have to get rid of something. You want to keep it. I'm going to pull out card 268. Uh... Moving forward. So I thought that when you picked it up. Yeah. Fighting fury. Even though I'm gonna guess fire is good, because fire is gonna let us rest, I do believe, and gain back cards. Fighting fury. You can't fight. Well, I guess you can fight sleep. It's definitely something you do. Two sixty eight. You notice an opening on one side of the tower. Whoa. A good portion of the building is below the surface. If you want to explore it, you may need to hold your breath for a long time. Uh, All right. So. We don't have anything that can help us that. So what's it say? It's got the stairs, which means and all and action all players must get involved in. The consequence of this action might force them to discard all the cards forming the current board and reset. So this one could take us somewhere different. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Let's do this action. I feel like you should take it because you have the life jacket. You also have the raft. So you are much more likely to succeed. And we have to get... We can't change the number of cards we have. Actually, that life jacket will guarantee us it. Yeah, we need one star. So we'll draw a card and we'll immediately succeed. But there's this 40 here. Which is, if we have something up here, isn't it? Which we don't, right? We, we don't? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, yeah. 40! Let's venture into... So, you still get a draw card. Hey, you succeed. Do you want to keep the snowshoes or hold on to everything you've got? I'm just going to hold on to everything I've got. Probably a good idea. Inspirational music. We're about to explore deep into there. So, we have now um, white. Oh, forty with the, the flag. What's the flag going to do? 
thought we I thought it meant we looked down there, but I want to double check. You see that symbol anywhere in there? Can you hold this? Can you look at it? Thank you. We're looking for the purple one. I don't think we have it, so. Because I thought it was, if you had a card down here, it would modify it. So, let's check it out. Card 40. What do we got? Nope. You swim through the maze of flooded hallways and rooms. Your swim through the maze of flooded hallways and rooms is tiring and arduous. With your lungs burning for want of air, you hurry back and return to the surface where you emerge. <sighs> Panting. Desperately. One character may choose one card with the keyword stamina or will in the action deck and add it to their hand. I don't have... One character may choose one card from the keyword stamina or will in the action deck and add it? it to their hand. Uh, I, it should be me because you're full up. So we get one card from the action deck with stamina or will in it. So we get whatever card we want and then we shuffle it back up. Sweet. Ooh, that's vigilance. Stamina, will, stamina, will. So this is me gaining experience from swimming down there. Will. Walking stick? Mm. No. You could use it as a little surfboard. Stamina or will. That might be my only choice, actually. That is the... Oh, here we go. Think. Um, let's take the walking stick. All right, so that, let me shuffle these back up. All right, you know what happens to this card, I wonder? It doesn't say what to do with it. 40? 40 with the skill. So what, what do you want to do next? I'm going to try and look for that symbol, because I'm very curious. Now, I don't think there's anything left to do on here, is there? Which means, where do we want to go? I feel like we should try and go up north on the island. I feel like we should actually do this. What do you think about that? Yeah. Oh, but I don't have that one that lets us go anywhere I want. Or you could go back in there. I wonder, let's see if there's another 40 card. I don't think there is. There is not. Which means I bet this one goes back in there. No. That could be right. That would go into the past. So why is this still here, though? We can't do it. Oh, I bet if we have something special, it's going to do... Yeah, figure out what you want to do, buddy. Let me know what you're going to do. Hmm. Want to know? Oh, so there's a clue that we might have that might help us in here. But I don't think we have that particular clue. Hmm. Yep, we don't have that clue. Where should I go? Keep your, oh, you're terrified. Oh, wait. oh you might want to consider getting rid of this stuff. How? I think that, I don't know, read the cards. Let's see, you could try and heal your injury. Uh, you're terrified. Uh, you must use a card with the keyword music. Now I wish we had that fruit, flute. Yeah. Uh, you Mr. can also get rid of your Frightened. Mr. I don't need that. Do you want to try to get rid of your injury to get rid of your Frightened? Because I think I should rest. I think we should just take a chill pill and try and get rid of this stuff. Get rid of my Frightened. Alright, so uh, you're going to draw one card and you need to get at least three. None of the symbols are going to help us. I can try and help you, but if I try and help you when we fail, you're paranoid. So I don't feel like I should try and help you on this. No. Do you want to... Uh, you may discard this during... Okay, so how many cards do you want to draw to get three? Um, but if you fail, it's just all lose. I think we should... So here's your three for sure. Maybe five? Yeah, five. Four? Five. Five? five? Okay. So that's two. That's a curve. There, you got it. And you get it to keep one of these cards if you would like. And now, return this! Hey, you're not frightened anymore. Good. Oh, but I'm still... Yeah, you still got a lot of issues. But hey, yeah, you're not frightened. Terrified. 
Look at the bright side, Sean. Don't be so terrified. Something bad's gonna happen. Ooh, a club. Why would I use well, that? Well, will any of these help you with the terrified? Doesn't look like it. Any of them help you with the injured? Nope. 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 Oh, this one lets you, uh, this one lets you, that's pretty cool. This one lets you just add a star uh, at the end of something, which might be good. Or you could just discard them all. What are you going to get rid of? I'm not going to get rid of... Probably not going to be needing this pole. I would honestly get rid of this. What about the... What, what? I would get rid of... Because that card is good for you if you're not good at fighting. And I think we're going to be pretty good at fighting. The pole. Whereas the pole is really good because it's going to improve one of your items. Like you could add that pole to your life jacket, and then this number goes back up to six. Because that life jacket has been pretty helpful for us, I think. Yeah. Alright, so my turn. Let's see. I would like to move. Would you like to do the move action with me, buddy? We'll walk together. Where is it? It's just moving. Two. Okay. Or, yeah. yeah. So. Do, 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 do. We have to draw two cards, but nope, doesn't matter. Draw two cards, discard two cards, but I gotta keep one. Six sits. Oh, and I, I was gonna get rid of this tired. Oh well. All right, so I feel like uh, we should we should we should do that. I feel like we should try and head up stream. What do you think? Sure. Considering the long distance and the cold water, swimming away would neither be reasonable nor safe. Leaving the archipelago, you choose which direction to take. So we have to... Well, we have a raft. We do. The raft is going to let us... Ooh, it's going to let us get a fancy card, which means we would go up to 194 instead of 189, which would be cool. Um, you also could... In addition to using your raft, if you wanted to completely get rid of your life jacket, we could just, we could almost guarantee it. Hmm. Or you could just use one on your life jacket, and that would give us four. Oh, no. Yeah, that would give us four of the stars we need. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, so go one down here, one down here. One down on the raft. Yes, your raft is at one. Nope, your raft is at one. Or no, 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 your raft, what number was your raft at? It was at four, then now it's So now it's at three. three. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at your, I was thinking of your life jacket, my bad. Your life jacket's one. Okay, so we now have one star for sure, and two, so we have three stars for sure, and then we get a seven, every seven is worth a star. And we automatically have one. So guaranteed we have four of the stars we're well, going to need. We could use that if we needed to. Um, this is your action, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to get three stars, pretty much. We have two cards to do it in. What do you think, three cards? Yeah. Because sevens are going to help us, right? Yeah. And you can always add a star if we need to. We can even do that if we need to. Yeah. Two. That's great. Three. Have we succeeded yet? We have. No matter what, we're going to succeed. Bam. So we crushed it. You got to keep one of these cards if you'd like. So that one's going to make you tired. Remember, that one's going to make you tired or something bad if you use it. But it does give you two stars, which is really good. Bad. This one will let you take a card out of the discard pile in your hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to do... Well, you have to get rid of something else. I'm, I've had this lucky star for way too long. It's because you need to use them. <laughs> but we haven't uh, really got the good chance to use them. All right, so... We've succeeded. Leave the archipelago. You choose which direction to take. So it's 189, but it's 189 plus 5 because we have this amazing raft right here. So it's actually 194. We explore deeper and deeper up the island. And it says, Did card 46 take you here? Let's see. Yep, so we're cool. 
You have reached the open sea! If you choose to head north, apply the following effect. After traveling along the cliffs uh, with that border... Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't think we should read this. I, let's, let's make it fun. Do we want to head north or do we want to head south? No, let's look at our map first. Let's see if we can try and figure out anything on this stinking map we got. Right, right here. So, what is this? Wait, wait. Is, I think that's where we started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 look. So the FT-16, remember, that was the... Um, that was the dead guy with the eggs all over Yes, yeah, so FT-16, and we went across the sea, right? Yeah. And so I think we want to head north, maybe? I think yeah. we should head north. You cool with that? Because that way is north. Yeah, and there's... All right. So we're doing north? After traveling along the cliffs that border the skyline, the shoreline, careful to avoid the current that might push you towards the reefs, you eventually easily berth in a little cove. Return all the cards on the board and in the past and put a 198 card into play. Each player places their figure onto it. Do you want to know what happened if we would have went south? Yes. You leave the continent behind you until it is out of sight. After long hours at sea, you eventually make out a small island and decide to berth there. So instead of going towards the small island, we have headed north to 198. And I think that, this is a good spot to pause our game. What do you think, Sean? Yeah. So 198, we'll see what it is though. All this stuff. Gone, 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 gone. Who are you? Who was the guy? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess we had to draw like a perfect card and get like a perfect thing to get it, but maybe yeah. next time. Well, maybe the guy was trying to go where we are right now, but ran into this place when he thought he maybe he thought this place was the place that we are at right now. Who knows? 198, you arrive at a stony stretch of ground running between the face of a glacier to the north and a cliff to the south. It gently slopes down to the edge of the ocean. And we have... Snow! Penguin! Hey, okay, cool. So that is where we will start next time. And this was your first time, and it was my first time as well, on the Seventh Continent. What did you think about the game, buddy? I liked it. What did you like about it in particular? Um, I liked like I liked like the theme really good. You liked how thematic it was? Yeah. Me too. Now let's see if we can save the game. Because because apparently you're supposed to be able to save your game really easy. So let's go to the save game instructions. Leaving a game in progress. Nope, that's all we want to do. Saving the game. Players may suspend and save the game at any time as long as all character figures are on the same terrain card, which we are, and no player is performing an action or forced to take a mandatory action. Discard all the cards on the board into the past except for the terrain card. All character figures are standing on. So this was a great time to do it, because normally we'd have to rediscover everything again. That stinks. Stack the remaining cards in the following order from the bottom up and put them behind the save divider in the game box. For each character, his or her character card with the following cards underneath. Um, so, these are all of your cards, right? How do we remember how many things were on here, I wonder? Well, let's, let's, let's check real quick. Um, oh, that's really clever! That's really clever! You remember these cards? I didn't know what they were, Sean. No. These are how to help mark how many actions you have left on your... Die! Die. Oh, okay. So, um... First thing we're going to do is stack or uh, discard them. So we, where's your character card? Your character card is right here. All of these cards are going to go there, right? So this will have a... So the life jacket will have a one on the top. Remember that? Because there's one use left on your life jacket. And uh, for our I'll sort raft, like this, actually. there's going to have a three on it. Yep. So the, the raft gets the three. Then the trap slash 
bamboo armor. Not sure how that works exactly. Yeah. He's going to get the six in front of it. Okay. So, so then my character's card is still in there. So now we have my guy. And he has these things. He also has this one bolus, which I'm telling you, buddy, don't be paranoid. I'll use it eventually, which goes right here. And then the discard pile, save card with all the cards in the discard pile underneath it. So there's a discard pile save card. Where is it? Discard pile. Oh, that's really nifty how they do this. Okay. So all these cards are a discard pile. So they'll go right here. I think I did that in the wrong order. That's all right. We can flip it like this, and now it's in the right order. Ha-ha! The action deck save card with the action cards in it. So there's a action card save card. Where is it? Uh, ooh, some of the other curses. The, bl the bloody hunt. Oh. Mm. The bloody hunt. I think I might have accidentally put this card in the wrong spot, but you get it. We're going to be saving these, and then we will be ready to rock and roll the next time. But that was the first game of the seventh continent, which I would say went pretty stinking smooth yeah. for how much stuff is going on in this game. But it looks like it might be your cup of tea, which if you have kids. So i got a question for you. Do you think the other kids in your class would like this? Yeah. Uh, and you are in first grade. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So if you got... If you're looking at this as a family game, I, I definitely think you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Uh, because, do you want to play this some more tonight, later? Yeah. Go to score more and see if we yeah. can get rid of the voracious goddess. But that was our first dive into the seventh continent. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check it out. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.